Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the review plugin for Obsidian, which lets you uh, mark a note to be reviewed in a future time on a future like uh, daily note if you're using that. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Members get my courses included, or you can find the links to my courses on Skillshare. Let's look at the review plugin. So this plugin we find uh, as every plugin by going to our community plugins. We would go to browse. We would search review. It's right here by Ryan uh, J. Murphy, who's done a bunch of plugins for Obsidian. Does a very good job with them. We would click uh, install, edit, or install and enable uh, from the buttons up here, which I've already done. And then we would go to look at our options. Now, there are a few options here. Um, where you can change the heading. So this is a pen to the heading. If you already have a heading in your daily notes, then you can just add it, uh, change it, and it'll look for that heading. Uh, the line prefix, it actually comes set up like this with just a dash, but I like the task uh, item there, and you need to make sure you leave this last space. So right there, space. Um, I like a task because then you can resolve your item when you review, you've reviewed it. Next up is uh, block review, because you can also link a block to be re reviewed in the future. And again, I've changed this to a task notation as well, just so I know what it is, and the default review date of tomorrow. Now there's one other thing you really need to have set up in here to make this work. If we go back to our community plugins and go to browse, and we need to search and add natural language dates, which I already have installed. The review plugin by Ryan actually uses the natural language dates plugin to parse the dates as you go to add your content. That's it. We are kind of set up how it would go. And next, we need to just go, I'll hit Command P on Mac, Control P on Windows, and I'm going to type review. I'm going to add this to a note, add this note to daily note for review. Hit enter. The default is tomorrow, so that's fine. Hit enter again, set review date. And now I have review notes in the future. Right here, right? Set up for tomorrow, the 31st. If I want to do a block, then again, I just hit Command P, Review. And there you go. I have this block set up for review. So how would I use this? So last week, I was actually working on um, using Composer in WordPress and installing it for a client. And what I should really do now, or what I should have done at the time, which I didn't do, is actually I should have gone uh, Command P, and say uh, Review add this to a daily note for review, and I'm going to add it to today. So I should have done GitHub Actions, and I would actually go to the note and say, uh, look at Shang the poser integration for prob, prob pubs. So that's how I would use it. I would use it when I'm taking notes on something technical, doing some research, then I would use it to uh, forward the note to the future so that I know what I'm looking at in the future so that I can you know, find that easily as opposed to the bit of looking around I had to do for the video. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you love it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. But honestly, go hang out with your kids. Turn off your notifications because you really don't want them. You can leave a comment, ask questions. I will do my best to answer them or say thanks or point you in the right direction. Support the channel. Links below. Skillshare, membership, stuff like that. You can find my courses on Skillshare too. Have a good one.